everybody, welcome back to my channel. About 92% of you that watch this channel are not subscribed. So if you want me to buy more Taco Bell this month, I suggest you subscribe or else I'll piss on criminals figure. Enjoy the video. Hello fellow gamers. Today I'm going to be talking about the very, very odd and weird deep cut Raimi custom. Now before we get into it, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, this is the process of how I was doing it. I'm going to mention everything that I used and did throughout this process. So if there's something I could do better, and I know if there's any customizers watching, please, I beg of you, tell me what I could do better because I love criticism and I love hearing that I can do shit better than I know I did in the first place. So... Before I get into it, please let me know what I could do better, and yeah, I just hope you enjoy. I will get into all the details about everything right in a moment, so thank you for watching. We can even show what we are doing. We need to have a, another Tiz lesson. It's Tizify Class 101. All right, let's take it back to 2007. A little movie came out called Spider-Man 3, which featured new villains in this movie, such as Sandman, New Goblin, and Venom. And Venom is played by a lad by the name of Topher Grace. Oh yeah, I know all about you. I love Topher Grace. And yes, I'm a fan of his Venom. Yes, his Venom was fucking awesome. I mean, like what Venom was as kill-hungry and full of bloodlust than this version of Venom? This is the part where you tell me in the comments. So this actually is not a Venom custom we are doing. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I know, I know, chill out. Let me explain what we are doing. So this little movie, Spider-Man 3, had video game adaptations, two different ones. Today we will be talking about the PS2 and PSP version. So there's a mission in the game where you are taking photos and helping people around the city. Later on in that mission, there's a guy dressed up as a black costumed homemade suit Spider-Man. And so what happens? Well, the dude tries to fight Spider-Man and your normal reaction would be to just punch him out. Oh shit, he down. So then it's revealed that Eddie Brock was in the costume mugging people wearing a Spider-Man suit all to get photos and to ruin Spider-Man's reputation. Are you still following? Eddie Brock in the black costume pre-Venom. Yeah. So that's what we are doing. This look of Eddie Brock. And now that you are all caught up on the context of this very guy, we will now go into the process. Thank you. Class dismissed. You're a, a teacher? Part-time. These photos right here are, is the actual figure before I painted it. I actually tried to give it a base coat paint to paint it something else. And then I decided this is what I'm gonna make this body with. This is actually a broken web trap Spider-Man. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today I, um, I am uh, starting a new custom project and let's hope it'll turn out okay. Uh, I hope if this video gets uploaded, um, that means it did turn out okay. Um, so this is the start of it. Um, this is going to be a video game based Raimi custom. Um, this will be an interesting one. Uh, it is, a lot of people probably don't know uh what this custom will be based off of when they see it or they'll probably think it's weird they'll go what the f what is that <laughs> so uh this custom uh currently that i'm working on is going to be an imposter eddie brock uh this is a part in the spider-man 3 video game where he wears a fake spider-man costume and starts mugging people and the mission is you have to find the imposter Spider-Man. This is a uh, 
uh, custom based off of that. I still need one more part to come in before I can really finalize it. The part that I actually needed for this uh, took so long to come in. And then I have to get the goggles for the uh, mask. Right now, this is, um, I say, this is like, originally this was gonna be a Spider-Man 3 uh, Venom. And then I started slowly changing it. And now I just sanded the joints. And now I decided we could do an imposter ready because I actually am getting a messed up magnetic Spider-Man to uh, repaint and I will turn that into Venom instead. And uh, yeah, so we'll have a magnetic Topher Grace Venom. But for right now, this is going to be imposter ready Brock. This is my extra fodder body. Um, but yeah, this will be my Eddie Brock. We'll see how the progress goes. I wasn't supposed to paint the foot. The feet are supposed to be black, but I don't know, man. How are we doing? Looks like shit. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. So very quickly, I actually did not use a whole lot of paint. I only got a box uh, set of Vallejo Model Air from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I'm not sponsored, by the way. I would love it if Vallejo would sponsor me, though, because I love their paint. Their paint is probably, like, the best I've ever used on figures. I only used the black and the silver for this, and then the blue for the um, the goggles. But, um, yeah, this this is some good shit right here, man. I I'm telling you, get this paint, I highly re recommend. Hey, hey, yo, okay. <laughs> What? What? God damn it, tis what? Let that motherfucking beat drop now, man! Let it drop, man! <laughs> oh, I'll drop that Zaza beat, all right. And now, on to the main review. And so, here is the finished product. We have here our imposter, Eddie Brock, from the Spider-Man 3 video game. The imposter, Eddie Brock figure. Now, I don't know if I addressed it earlier, but he is a broken Red Trap Spider-Man. So, yeah, I did use my extra fodder. That's why I turned him into this. I, didn't, I wouldn't just intentionally make a really bad spider <laughs> looking spider-man custom you know what i mean but this is true this is based on the game and yeah it is broken but you know he could still stand he could still pose like he should like however however you, way you want him i mean i'm not gonna put him in a spider-man-y type pose because he's not spider-man but but yeah as of this moment i have the goggles on the sides to the sides so that you can so that they stay because well, actually i think it's just this side yeah this side has tack so this side has some sticky tack on it so that the goggles stay on i think i did pretty good with the goggles um there's the logo i tried to make it look a little messy honestly like i didn't try too hard on the web lines like at first when i first was painting it i was making it a little too perfect so then i had to go back and we go through and make it a little bit messier give it a little wash so it's not as shiny so the hands are supposed to be just black with no lines on it, just gloves. Same with the shoes, they're supposed to be just black because this is supposed to be like a, a homemade suit, essentially, that Eddie Brock makes. And yeah, for some reason he used some kind of glasses, goggles. I don't, I don't know what he 
was thinking. I'm gonna show you without the goggles, I mean. It's not gonna ever be displayed like that, but that's what it looks like. The eyes are just black. So there you go, if you wanted to see it. So the main reason why I made this custom was because number one, I love that game. Number two, I've never seen anyone do it. Number three, I mainly wanted to do this because of the picture I wanted to recreate, which was the shot, you know, of him on the ground, whatever. But what's cool is I have options. So what I could do is, I could take his head off here. And thanks to a good, good friend of mine, VMY Toy, he straight up made a brand new Topher Grace head sculpt for me. Like I just, I asked him, it's funny cause I, he has a, he has an Eddie Brock head sculpt here. So VMY Toy, he has an Eddie Brock head sculpt, but it, he created this whole brand new one just so you could have a casual Eddie Brock, which is awesome. Cause I told him, I was like, I was like, yeah, I would like one of your heads, but without the web lines, if that's possible. And that's why it took so long to get this thing made was because he straight up made a brand new mold. And it looks awesome. This is really nice. I'm gonna throw this on the Peter Parker body here in a second so you can see what it would look like if it was just a normal Eddie Brock. But but this is the head that's gonna go on the figure. This is, this is the head that's been on my figure and displayed on the figure. Quite, quite awesome. Paint is just perfect, man. But yeah, so that's the, that's the normal head. And then I took, I took this guy right here since I'm gonna use this on the magnetic custom when I finally get to it. Um, I just have it on the retro body for right now, but this is the head I originally asked for and was like, hey, uh, if you could do it without the web lines, that'd be really nice. And honestly, I thought he was just gonna send me this same head, but without the web lines painted or sanded off or something. But no, he actually made an entirely brand new head, which is so, so cool. And I appreciate VMY Toy for that. Definitely check him out on Instagram. Um, very cool very cool dude he's very nice he could definitely uh he could definitely him and his team could definitely paint really really well man and so that only leaves us to put this head on and boom look at that custom complete wow looks pretty good i i <laughs> It's pretty funny. I mean, you really only see it from the back, but this is what he would look like if uh, that took place in an actual scene in the movie. So it's pretty nice. There's your masthead, so you can swap it out. But um, yeah, it looks really good. Also, if we take another look, let's here, let's go to the back because I didn't even show the back. But here's the logo. Again, looks a little messy. Um, I don't even think- Damn nigga, what you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. In the, if I remember correctly, I don't think in the game, um, it was this bright. I don't know, but I mean, again, it's a homemade-looking suit. So, what really can you do? I mean, I think I did pretty good painting that. I don't know. I don't know. This is like my first full full paint custom. I think, if I remember correctly, yeah, this is my first full painted custom. I just haven't showed it yet because I was waiting for this head to come in. So, yeah, it looks looks awesome, man. Time for a little chat, poser. Fine. You got me. Thanks for ruining my chance to finally be a success. A success at what? Mugging people while wearing tights? Oh, you're one to talk. It's funny how we still haven't gotten an updated Black Suit Spider-Man yet. So this Eddie Brock technically looks, ha looks and has a slightly better body than the other one. I find that a little funny, but yeah. So this is the first of the size comparisons. This is the uh, Trilogy Black Suit Spider-Man I got here. Um, also, right here I got the retro Peter Parker, which I'm actually gonna throw the Eddie Brock head on. And so there's your custom Spider-Man 3 Eddie Brock. I mean, obviously not accurate like colors or anything, but it's still casual clothing. And it works for what you need, and it's got a brown jacket, and it works. Maybe I'll do a picture of it, because, like, honestly, it looks really good. So, I probably should, because I don't, I haven't seen anyone else with this head yet. But uh, VMI does have, have it for sale, so if you do want one, go check that out. VMI. 
Since I don't have a web trap Spider-Man that's currently intact anymore, here is the, I guess, next best thing I could really put next to him, which is the superposable Spider-Man from Spider-Man 2. And of course, since this is Eddie Brock, here he is with Venom, the uh, trilogy Venom. And uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's literally just a Spider-Man, so of course it's just gonna be a little bit shorter than Venom, but you know. And now here he is with the SHF Spider-Man, SHF Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. And you know, since we showed it off before, there he is next to the retro Spider-Man with the symbiote Eddie Brock head on it. And here he is next to the Legends 3-pack Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, which seems pretty in scale, I would say. This is the No Way Home, Toby. And last but not least, Mega Bloks Venom. Talk about evolution. Oh, jeez. Look at the colors. Look at the... All right, all right, all right. Ooh, there you go, motherfucker. Here's your clip. Yeah.